the question comes about police brutality and 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 um and and, and why um, is it that in this country it seems to be that cops own some type of uh, god type uh, I don't know flipped out trick um, I don't know but I will tell you this when American citizens comply with the orders of police officers. It's not that they have any respect for the human being. Because if you just stick those police officers, be they male or female, on the street as a regular civilian, I mean, after all, they're civilians too because they're not in the military. Um, it's really no contest. There ain't too many police officers with a lot of these people that they arrest and stuff that can actually physically overcome them and overwhelm them. And so since a lot of these cops are hiding behind this uniform, trying to play tough guy, you know, with a lot of citizens, uh, they know that it's the state and the people actually have more fear of this unlawful, unjust, wicked, so-called system of justice than they do the human being that's in the uniform. Because a human being in a uniform has no power and no authority of, in and of themselves. It's, it comes from the state. So they already know that if they don't comply with as, as crooked as Washington is in this country, as crooked as his judicial system is in this country, as crooked as the police are in this country, and it is a fact. And as crooked as these judges are, they know that they're not going to get a, a fair shake because the threat is we're going to throw you in jail and put you away for a long time. And taking away people's time that they have a lot of here on this earth is the only reason why people are complying. Now, what we're seeing now is that people are saying, you know what? If I can't live free, then what the hell is that used to living for anyway? I'm getting sick and tired of this. I'm oppressed. I don't have... Uh, 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 a way to take care of myself, take care of my family. I'm constantly brutalized. I'm racially profiled. Uh, um, I, I mean, I'm constantly harassed by the police. This is the sentiment. I'm telling you what people tell me. All right. Uh, I don't have these problems because I live way out in the country. All right. And so a lot of times people get to the point, a breaking point where they just say, you know what? D damn it. I can't take it no more. I went to war for this country, I made it back, and I experienced more tyranny by the terrorists of the United States of America who had uniforms called police officers than I did by the tangos over, overseas. And if I'm going to be at war, I might as well just go to war. And, and some people are just flat out opting out on it, opting, out, opting in on it and doing that. Now, again, I'm communicating to you what people talk to me about. I'm telling you their pain. I'm letting you in on their experience and why they feel the way they feel. And when I hear them talk, it makes complete sense to me. I, I'm sympathetic and I have empathy towards them. Uh, because, you know, when you receive a lot of bad information coming your way, it will affect the spirit of man. I don't care who you are. But if you take a poll, I don't care how much Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, uh, Barack Hussein Obama or Fox News, anybody else trying to prop up the police. From my side of the fence and tracks, they don't have a good record. None whatsoever at all. None whatsoever at all. People are not fond of the police at all, period, because they know they only one lie, one drug being planted on them away from going to jail for the rest of their life. That's, that's my community. Um, and since a lot of these people don't have voice to be able to articulate and have an outlet to be able to articulate it, they come to Pastor Dow, and Pastor Dow articulated for them. Again, we're sitting here today, you won't believe how many phone calls we got from white racists at the dining hall, just totally dishonoring our sisters. And, and, and the majority of these people, they only saw one video. I had one woman, a woman. Saw four videos, called him down and said, this man is awesome. He is awesome. Saw another video, and watch this. I'm going to show you how schizophrenic this society is. Saw another video where I said how this ministry, and it does, it's a fact, produces virgins. A lot of people, they get married in this ministry 
they get married to virgins. I just got finished marrying uh, a couple in New York. Um, and, and I think both of them are 28 years old. And it is unheard of in this generation for a college-educated woman, a school teacher, to be 28 years old and be a virgin And when she got married. And this woman, she turns around, calls the dining hall, Drops all kind of f bombs on me. I mean, f and f and f and bop, 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 bop. I'm like, what happened to the first four videos you saw? What, what, what flipped your switch? What was that spark? Oh man, this the dishonor is just utterly amazing. And you know what? I'm going to see if the Saints hadn't erased it. If they have not erased it, I'm going to show you. I'm going to see if I can get the audio of it, and I'm going to play it for you here on this YouTube to show you. All because of all these things that are happening. I'm sorry. All of us don't have the same story. We don't have the same history. And for you to tell me that I shouldn't feel a certain way because of what has happened to my people in this country is, is, is nonsensical. It really truly is. It's totally irrational. I don't go and tell you how you should feel. Uh, when I communicate, I'm communicating. It's just like this cop, a black cop. It, it, that just let us know. That there's a gag order put on the police officers that they better not say anything against other law enforcement officials, no matter how guilty they are. And then this spinning of a narrative that um first thing we do is go look in their past. They, here they are. Nobody, you mean tell me nobody can be rehabilitated in this country? Why don't we just why is it that we always gotta dodge the real issue at hand? Why is we always gotta deflect? Why is it, is it that we always have to spin the narrative? Why come we just can't deal? with the issue for what it is right now. When you look at that video of those two black men that got shot, neither one of them were doing anything to have their life snuffed out from them. From what I see, Pastor Dow's perspective, it was cold-blooded murder. It was gangster-style murder. Old-fashioned murder. You know what? To hell with this, we going to um, wait till we do an investigation. We ain't rushing the judgment. But when the shoe is on the other foot, they automatically, the news source, they automatically condemn the civilian populace. <clears throat> Last time I checked, the police work for us, and they are public servants. And now they're killing us, the very people who sworn an oath. To, to, now, don't get me wrong. I ain't in all this, this, this dang, we are here. I swore an oath uh, to protect you. No, you did not swear no oath to protect me. You swore oath to protect law. That's it. Not, not the individual. And most of you that say you will take a bullet for a civilian, you are a liar. If you was going to take a bullet for something, we should join the military. You should have got in the United States Army Airborne. Should have went in the Rangers or Special Forces or Delta. You should have should have went into the Force Recon or Navy SEALs if you really wanted to go and take a bullet for someone. Because even uh, our brothers in arms, brothers of the silk, that means people who jump out of airplanes. Even them are dying unjustly at our hands of our government. I'm still upset about SEAL Team 6. All of a sudden getting a noun lady when we so-called captured Barack. Uh, I mean Osama bin Laden and we buried him out at sea. You believe that stuff? I don't. I don't. So... I mean, it's just sad. It, it's, it's, it's a very sensitive subject. People are going to have their opinion. Everybody's not going, not going to agree on a lot of things. But, you know, for those of you out there who call Pastor Dow a racist, you, you're entitled to your opinion. And I'm going to give you my opinion. You are a lying piece of crap because you don't know nothing about me. You don't even know nothing. You don't know nothing about me or straightway as a ministry. All you know is slander, lies, deceit, or whatever else. But, but you don't know me. You don't know me. And and I, I guarantee you that if you did, you wouldn't repent. I guarantee you that once you found out that I'm not, you wouldn't recant. I guarantee you, you will save face and take your little sorry self and mosey on down the road and stuff. Because you know what? Pride always go before destruction. You're slated to be destroyed. That's all there's to it. But um, I'm just speaking the real truth. Truth to power. No, the police always ain't got no power in itself. Uh, I ain't never met a police officer, myself personally, um, that would ever pull me over. They can use the power and authority in the state and stuff, um, but but I guarantee they would never run up on me as an individual themselves. 
Um, and I'm not saying this because I want to fight police officers. I'm just telling you the reality truth. A lot of times people go on the police force because either they were bullied um, or, 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 or you can tell the bullies because they're the ones who, man, they, they, they make you, ooh, the worst thing you can do is give somebody power who has been abused. That's the worst thing you can do. These people have no self-control. And, and then, of course, they know they could, if they, they think about this. We live in the United States of America, a country where if they kill you, if they kill you, they would, they stand no chance. They stand less than 1% of a chance of being convicted and going to prison or either receiving, a, they stand zero chance of getting a death penalty. So a lot of people are saying, you know what? From this point on, I'm not taking no more chances. A cop is pulling me over. This is what they're telling me. I am going to be ready because I never know if that one is crazy as hell and he want to shoot me and kill me. I want to go home and see my family just as much as they do. Now, did the people start this or did the cops start this? And then the issue goes on where the black people are murdering. I want to go. See, I go to the issue of the matter. Are the blacks responsible for the drugs that is actually flown into this country? And who puts the drugs in the inner cities for these people to consume? Who? Because I can tell you right now, there are no rich billionaire black men that traffic drugs into this country. Drugs are not in the United States of America because of black people. Is this too painful? I mean, come on, we're dealing with reality truth. Well, let's see what we get from this. Because I know, man, Jesus, man, you people, oh, boy, I tell you. Ah. <sighs>